So after Pitbull Crew's father revealed that he's protesting to the WBC to pull out of the Shakur Stevenson fight, Shakur came out on Twitter stating, quote, Shout out to the WBC, forcing fighters to make these big fights happen. They trying to make boxing great again. Gotta respect it. Flexing their muscles emoji. In addition to that, Shakur also said, Me picking apart a killer. They say I'm just talking, but I kinda always been the delivery man. Pull them contracts out so I can show y'all I'm with the BS. Like I said on my last video, which I'm gonna leave a link for that video in the comment section below. While Isaac Pitbull Cruz is protesting to the WBC to duck Shakur Stevenson, Shakur, on the other hand, he's protesting to fight and to deliver a beatdown on Pitbull Cruz. Apparently, just the thought of that turned Isaac Pitbull Cruz to Isaac Chihuahua Cruz. To make matters worse, after Pitbull Cruz's father said that they're going to protest to avoid the Shakur fight. Shakur also reacted on Twitter to Pitbull Cruz's father stating, quote, I'd rather see my son fight Lomachenko. He's an easier fight and we will stop him. Shakur fight would be extremely boring, running all over the ring like a dog chasing a cat. We would probably make more money fighting other fighters. End of the quote. This quote has been surfacing all over the net. I don't know if it's real or not, but one thing I do know, it sounds like something Pitbull Cruz would say because he said the same thing about Devin Haney. Pitbull Cruz called Devin Haney boring. Now I see a lot of people in the comment section trying to justify Pitbull Cruz ducking by calling Shakur Stevenson boring. So since you guys are running with these quotes, let's talk about it. First of all, notice how Pitbull Cruz's father didn't call Lomachenko boring when Loma is less exciting than Shakur. But instead, he said that Lomachenko is an easier fight. So in other words, Pitbull Cruz's father just admitted that they know they can't beat Shakur. They know they're going to lose. That's why they don't want the fight because it's a way, way, way tougher fight. So he prefers the Lomachenko fight since it's an easier fight. This has nothing to do with excitement. Pitbull Crew's father told on himself, but we already knew that. This is nothing but duck talk by Pitbull Crew's father. In fact, Shakur is actually more exciting than both Pitbull Cruz and Lomachenko. That's right. Shakur is more exciting to watch than both. That's why he does the most viewership on ESPN. Shakur is more exciting to watch offensively than Pitbull Cruz. He's also more exciting to watch defensively than Pitbull Cruz. Watching Floyd Mayweather, Shakur, and Devin Haney is like watching The Matrix how they dodge punches the way the Matrix dodge bullets. Then when they shoot back, they don't miss. That's exciting. Hit and don't get hit. Now picture the Matrix getting shot and killed. What's exciting with that? No one will watch the Matrix then. Matter of fact, the Matrix wouldn't even exist if it's hit and be hit. The Pitbull Cruise way. The non-skillful way. Put it this way. Pitbull Cruz is as exciting and amazing to watch as Hercules from Dragon Ball. He has no special effects, while Floyd, Shakur, and Devin Haney are like Goku Ultra Instinct. So to all of the race fans that's calling Floyd, Shakur, and Devin Haney boring, when they are the Goku Ultra Instinct in real life, I want you all to answer this question in the comment section. Who is more exciting to watch? Goku Ultra Instinct or Hercules from Dragon Ball. We all know what time it is. This is not up for debate. Shakur is 100 times more exciting to watch than Pitbull Cruz. That's why all of Shakur Stevenson fights has replay value, just like Floyd Mayweather. He's the highest viewed fighter on YouTube, even though he's already retired. The same people that call Floyd Mayweather born always say, People only watch Floyd Mayweather because they wanted to see him lose. Well, guess what? Floyd did not lose. So why does Floyd Mayweather highlights on YouTube still gets the most viewed today? From his overall highlights to his defense highlights to his offense highlights to his full fights, they get more views than all of y'all favorite fighters. 
who you guys claim are more exciting. How come their fights don't get no replay value? How come Pitbull Cruz fights on YouTube when he lost before he even lost to Javante? Don't get no replay value while all of Shakur Stevenson fights does. Shakur gets more views on YouTube because he's more exciting than Pitbull Cruz. Have you guys ever wondered why they don't pay Chavez Sr. 30 million for an exhibition? However, they pay Floyd 30 to 50 million for an exhibition. It's because obviously Floyd Mayweather is more exciting. Watching Floyd is like watching Goku Ultra Instinct in real life. It's so funny when Chavez Sr. had an exhibition, when Ricky Hatton had an exhibition, when Barrera and Morales had an exhibition, when all of the fighters you guys claim are so exciting have an exhibition, you guys admit, y'all don't even watch it. However, as soon as Floyd Mayweather has an exhibition, all of a sudden, all of you guys that's calling Floyd Mayweather boring are the first one to watch. You really can't make this up. Then y'all the first one to comment on my videos. Nobody cares. I waste my time watching this exhibition. The fight was boring. Floyd Mayweather destroying his legacy. But y'all didn't say that about Chavez Sr., Barrero Morales, Ricky Hatton, and so on and so forth. Did they destroy their legacy? I mean, the double standards are unreal. Y'all say y'all don't care. But why are you guys watching Floyd Mayweather exhibitions? over y'all favorite fighters exhibitions. Y'all making Floyd Mayweather the rich over y'all favorite fighters. Last time I checked, if you don't care, nobody put a gun on your head and forced you to waste your time by watching Floyd Mayweather the exhibition. You watched because you cared enough. You cared about Floyd, the so-called boring fighter exhibition you hate. More than you cared about the most exciting exhibition of your favorite fighter you love. Let that sink in. If you wonder why, it's because you guys secretly admire Floyd Mayweather and find him the most exciting fighter to watch. You guys find him as exciting as Goku Ultra Instinct, just like Shakur, Devin Haney, Javante, and so on and so forth. That's why they get the most replay value. Since you guys find them the most exciting to watch, that's why you guys continue watching them over and over and over again. Y'all amazed by their abilities, from their accuracy to their skills, the technique, the speed, the footwork, the reflexes, the counterpunching ability, and the list goes on and on and on. Pitbull Cruz can't do none of that. Even when Pitbull Cruz and his father watch Shakur, they know they can't beat him. That's why they said Shakur fight would be boring. These are code words to say, we can't beat that man. Because if Pitbull Cruz really felt like he could beat Shakur, he wouldn't say the Shakur fight is going to be boring. Since Pitbull Cruz himself is going to bring excitement to the fight, he's going to bring the thunder and the lightning. After all, Pitbull Cruz views himself as an exciting fighter. He will always make any fight exciting. So it wouldn't matter if Shakur is exciting or not. Pitbull Cruz is going to bring the excitement anyway. You see, Pitbull Cruz is telling on himself when he said that Shakur fight is going to be boring, even though Pitbull Cruz is supposed to be bringing the thunder. But he also know that Shakur will be bringing the lightning. See, what he pretty much saying is that I'm going to be missing all night. I'm not going to be hitting him while he's going to be hitting me because he's too good. So that's going to be boring and heartbreaking to my fans since I'm not going to have any success for them to cheer me on. However, it's going to be very exciting for Shakur fans because they're going to have a lot to cheer for. So when Pitbull Crew's father said that Shakur fight is going to be boring, what he meant was Shakur is going to completely dominate my son Pitbull. And that's boring to me. That's going to be extremely boring for my son Pitbull to get hit all night and he can't do nothing back. We rather fight someone who we could hit back and have some success. Maybe Lomachenko. That's an easier fight. We will stop him 
That's really the translation to what Pitbull Crew's father said. To make matters worse, Shakur doesn't even move like that. He's more of an aggressive fighter. However, even if he does, this will be the classic fight of a matador versus the Pitbull. And remember, Pitbull Crew's senior described the fight as a dog chasing a cat. Last time I checked, a cat doesn't stand a chance against a dog. So that would be an easy fight for Pitbull if that's the case. Unless the cat he describing is a lion, where I could guarantee you the Pitbull would not be chasing the lion around. That's why it's the lion cat Shakur that's chasing Pitbull Cruz. I'm telling you guys, Pitbull Cruz Sr. told on his son. Cruz Sr. really looks at Shakur like a lion because when he described Lomachenko, he said that's an easier fight. Even though Lomachenko is a fighter who moves around more than Shakur and Loma is less exciting than Shakur. That's a fact. That's not up for debate. If you don't believe me, just watch Lomachenko versus Teofimo Lopez, where Loma went seven rounds straight without throwing punches and just constantly moving around. Again, without throwing any punches, even the Salido fight, Lomachenko kept moving around without throwing punches. So how come Pitbull Crew's father didn't come out and say Lomachenko fight would be extremely boring, running all over the ring like a dog chasing a cat? But instead, he said the contrary. He said Lomachenko is an easier fight and we will stop him. Now, wait a minute. Where all of this confidence at when he talks about Shakur, who moves less than Lomachenko and is more exciting than Lomachenko? Oh, that's right. Clearly, Cruz Sr. thinks his son is going to lose to Shakur. Even Stevie Wonder could see it at this point. You see, it don't make sense whatsoever to say Shakur moves around, he runs, so on and so forth, when Pitbull Cruz is chasing fighters that moves around more than Shakur such as the Javante rematch and Lomachenko. We already established that Lomachenko moves around more than Shakur. I proved that already. But even Javante Davis moves around more than Shakur. If you notice, Javante Davis last two fights against Pitbull Cruz and Roley Romero. Tank moved around in one of them fights more than Shakur did for his last six fights combined. If you compare how much Shakur moved around for his last six fights to one of Javante's last two fights against Roley or Pitbull Cruz, you would notice that Tank moved around more in one fight than Shakur did in six fights. So it makes no sense whatsoever for Pitbull Cruz's father to talk about Shakur running all over the ring like a dog chasing a cat. That's why they're not interested. However, they chasing fighters that move around more than Shakur. And that's Javante rematch and Lomachenko. To make matters worse, how is Pitbull Cruz chasing the Lomachenko fight and he wants the Lomachenko fight over Shakur when Lomachenko is not even available? Lomachenko is Devin Haney mandatory and he's fighting Devin Haney next for undisputed. So why is Pitbull Crew's father talking about Lomachenko when Lomachenko is in negotiations to fight Devin Haney? He's not even available. Matter of fact, the whole reason why the WBC ordered Pitbull Crews to fight Shakur is because Devin Haney and Lomachenko are most likely going to fight each other next. How is Pitbull Crews chasing the Javante rematch when Javante is in negotiations with Ryan and he's going to fight Ryan next. So how are you chasing a man that is not even available? Pitbull Cruz keeps calling out fighters that are unavailable and occupied. However, the fighters that are available, such as Shakur and the Ali lookalike Rivera, all of a sudden, Pitbull Cruz is protesting to duck the smoke. In addition to that, the fact that Pitbull Cruz's father want the Lomachenko fight proves this is not a network issue or a promotional issue or an exciting running moving around issue but instead 
This is not having enough cojones issue. The irony of it all is that Shakur has everything to lose and pretty much little to gain. While Pitbull Cruz has everything to gain and nothing to lose. Because Pitbull Cruz already lost on more than one occasion. While Shakur is arguably the next Floyd Mayweather, he's undefeated. He's a superstar. He's a pound for pound fighter. He's more famous than Pitbull Cruz. And he gets paid more than Pitbull Cruz. So if anything, this is an opportunity for Pitbull Cruz. And he still doesn't have enough cojones to take it. Usually fighters in Shakur position will avoid a fight like Pitbull Cruz because a guy like Pitbull Cruz doesn't bring anything to the table but a couple losses. I mean, all we know Pitbull Cruz is for losing. He hasn't beat anybody yet. On the other hand, Shakur is a two-division world champion. His resume is hella deep for his age. He's a pound-for-pound -pound fighter. He's a two-division world champion, a unified champion. He beat the likes of Diaz, Gonzalez, Jamal Hearing, Jemaya, Oscar Valdez, Constachiao, and the list goes on and on and on. But do you see Shakur tell Pitbull Cruz, you won payday, you won payday? I know that. Absolutely not. Shakur doesn't use his credentials to duck like Canelo. Instead, he's willing to give fighters under him chances, like Pitbull Cruz. Even then, Pitbull Cruz ducks both the legacy day and the payday against Shakur. We've seen it time and time again with Munguia, the way he ducked Andrade and Charlo, the same way Virgil Ortiz is ducking Crawford, and now how Pitbull Cruz is ducking Shakur. And one thing Shakur, Devin Haney, Crawford, Andrade, and Charlo, they were all in the position of power. But unlike Canelo, they still willing to give the fighters under them opportunities. Like the Munguias, the Virgil Ortiz, the Pitbull Cruz, and the Ryan Garcias. However, these fighters under them are still ducking the smoke. Till this day. At this point, I have more faith in Jake Paul than them. Last but not least, Cruz Sr. said, We would probably make more money fighting other fighters. Talking about the Shakur fight. First of all, Shakur is more famous than Pitbull Cruz. And he makes more money than Pitbull Cruz. Whatever you could name Pitbull does, Shakur does more. This comment further shows how much Pitbull Cruz is ducking Shakur. This is equivalent to Victor Ortiz passing on Floyd Mayweather fight and stating that he could probably make more money fighting other fighters. Pitbull Cruz's father is full of caca at this point. Excuse my French. But it's completely okay because Pitbull Cruz's father is going to be forced to eat his own words. Let's see who Pitbull Cruz fights next. It better be a bigger fight than Shakur. Pitbull Cruz's next opponent has to be a bigger name than Shakur. His next opponent has to bring more money to the table than Shakur. If not, that would be a direct contradiction where Pitbull Cruz's father is gonna be forced to eat his own words. So time will tell. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.